All right, kiddos. Uh, I've got a pretty cool problem here that I'd like to go over with you. No cats anymore. I still have the cats here. Don't worry. They're, they're still keeping me company, but but I might not. Oh, oh, I just did it. I did it again. I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. All right. The cats, once again, I'm a cat. All right. Okay. No more. Kathy, uh, this is a problem that's all about um, using the tables that I was, uh, that we were learning about um, in the note card and in the examples. So what we want to do is kind of take uh, a problem and, and, and use that table to help us out. Now, this uh, problem is an interesting one because um, it's getting to talk about money. It's talking about something that we can model. So let's um, read it. Kathy was asked to pile the quarters taking in from extra sales, extra drink sales during a heat wave at school. She placed one one quarter in the first pile, four quarters in the second pile, and seven quarters in the third pile. Following the same pattern, how many quarters did she place in the eighth pile? And then in the next question, how many quarters did she use in all eight piles, in all eight piles all together? Now, I put a box on your assignment that says make a table to organize your work. See my example video for some tips. That's this. This is the example video right here. See, you get in the video right now. Amazing. Oh, my God. Right. A video with pictures. All right. Very exciting. Um, and then the last question I have for you, how much money did they have in those eight piles of quarters. Now, I modeled this out. And, and what's great about a problem like this is because it's like working with money or it's working with something that we that we can kind of model. Um, we I, I modeled it out. So that's what this is right here. So I made a model, right? And I took a picture of it. It's right in front of me. I'm looking at it right here, right here in front of me, in front of the computer. I have it. I took pictures. I'm going to show you guys the pictures. So this is the 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 what I modeled. Um, what they said, they said in the first pile, she put one quarter. In the second pile, she put four quarters in the third pile. She put seven quarters, right? And and I and I noticed like um, if you notice, I actually made those work. And then over here, I have a whole bunch of quarters. I don't know if you can tell, but I stacked them up. There's a lot. I don't know how many are there. But what I want to use is the information that I already know about how the pattern is moving to figure out what's next. What's in pile four? And from there, what's in pile five? What's in pile six? Pile seven and pile eight. And then what it asks you, and this is really interesting, it doesn't ask you, it does ask you how many are in pile eight, but it also asks you how many are in all of the piles all together. So then you got to go back and, and count them all up, right? Um, which I think is a really interesting type of problem because we're talking about each pile getting bigger, which means each pile is worth more money. And, you know, like how much more is it worth each time? And when we add them all up, we have to go back and give an amount for each one, which I, th I think is an interesting problem. I also thought I'd blow up. Check this out. I, I blew up this little pile right here just to show you in pile three. Like, I love how these quarters now, you know, when I was a kid, all the quarters looked really boring. Like they had the uh, Washington hat on one side and they had like the eagle on the other. And now we have all these kind of quarters. If you ever hold real money, which I know you guys, we don't deal with real money that much anymore. You buy things with credit cards and stuff, but check out the money here. Like on the back of a quarter, you have all these kind of like cool images. Like this is Delaware, right? And um, that uh, is the state that Joe Biden is from. So that's where he was a senator from. Um, that's where I don't. I don't think he was born in Delaware, but he uh, most of his adult life he spent in Delaware, which is on the East Coast. Then this one says Voyagers, which is a national park up in Minnesota. And, and I went there last year. Um, it was amazing. I loved it. It's right on the Canadian border. We actually swam across the lake to Canada. You're not supposed to do that. Not supposed to swim to Canada. We, we, with a whole group of us that were camping, we, you have to canoe in, we canoed to our campsite. I'll, sh I'll show you pictures sometime. Unbelievable place. But we swam to Canada. It was so fun and really, really beautiful. You're away from everything. So Voyagers National Park up on the Canadian Minnesota border. And then the last one I, I thought was pretty cool here is Alaska. You see, they got a, a, grizzly bear, I think. Um, so I've never been to Alaska. So I've not been to Delaware or Alaska anywhere. I, I, I don't really care if I either go to Delaware. I'd like to go maybe sometime, but Alaska, I definitely like to visit. Okay. I'm way off topic. So back to the problem. We're going to go and talk about what happens if we build a table for this. So what I'm going to do is underneath this, I'm going to make this a horizontal table. And on the top of the table, I'm going to put piles, right? Or pile number, right? That's going to be the first thing. And on the bottom, I'm going to put number of quarters, right? Because that's what we're talking about, quarters. 
And I'm just doing this one horizontal because why not? It doesn't really matter. You're going to see them both ways when you see tables. It doesn't really matter how you do them, right? So I'm going to set up this thing and I'm going to say, well, here we go. Let's do it. You guys are starting it with me, I hope. And this will give you a head start. I'm going to need a lot of columns here because I'm going all the way up to eight piles. That is a lot. How many do I have? So at one pile, I have one quarter. At two piles, they told me I had four. And at three piles, they said I have seven, right? This is all told to us already. That's all in the problem. So now I have to say, what's going to happen? What's my fourth pile? How many right here? How many, right? So that's this pile right there, right? How many are there? And that's my first question mark. And then from there, what's in pile five? What's in pile six? What's in pile seven? And what's in pile eight? Notice that the pile numbers go up consistently. So what's going to happen to our numbers of quarters? Will they go up consistently? And then when you do figure out how many are in the eighth pile, then they want you to figure out how many quarters are there all together, right? And that's a whole nother thing. So all together. Remember what all together is like a, a math word for like adding, adding something up, right? All together. All right. I hope you um I hope you find this problem interesting. I do. I like I love this kind of problem. I think they're very interesting. So I hope you enjoy doing it. If you got some money, if you want to model it out, it's totally fun to go model it. Model it with pennies. I don't, you know, whatever you can find, just model it. Make it, make it, make it happen and you start to see it. All right. Okay. I want to see the work in your notebook. Um, turn it into me. Enjoy the problem. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.